Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mimi, I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to talk you through how to create your very own Game Pass inside of Roblox. So the only reason that you should actually need a Game Pass is so that you can receive Robux donations in games such as Please Donate or if you're creating your own game and you want people to purchase an in-game Game Pass. So your first step is going to go over to Create and simply click on that. Once your page is loaded, we're going to go up to the top and we're going to click on Dashboard. So now that your dashboard has actually loaded in, you'll be able to see any experiences that you've created. Everybody who uses Roblox gets a default experience and this is the one that we're going to use. So we're just going to click inside that. And then we're going to go over to the left hand side and we're going to go down to where it says passes. This page now gives us the option to create a pass. So we're going to click on that. You can upload a different picture or you can just leave it as the default one here. We then need to go ahead and give our game pass a name. So we're just going to call this example. You can give it a description if you want to. However, you don't need to do that. And then the next thing is simply just to create the pass. Now that we've created the game pass, we need to list it so people can purchase it. So we're going to go over to the left hand side and click on sales. We are going to slide this switch across to say item is for sale. And then we're going to give it a price. Once you've done that, just hit save changes. And just remember guys that you will only get 70% of the sale of the item. So we will get somebody will purchase it for five and we actually will get three Robux for that. And now that our game pass is completed, we're going to go back over to the left and click on back to associated items, which will list our game pass. And then we're going to click on these three dots here and we're going to open in new tab, which will load it up into Roblox just to see whether it is live. And that's all there is to it. So if you find this guide useful, just remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye butterflies.